In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning, all. Today is September 11, the year 2001. We had a great tragedy in our country of having lost so many lives for terrorism as a way to make ourselves that we still remember those souls those innocent people who gave their lives as a way that we should bring peace and justice in our country and throughout the world. So the Mass is for the peace and justice of our country and all over the world. Let's acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who show your Father's care for all, grant in your mercy that the members of the human race, to whom you have given a single origin, may form in peace a single family and always be united by a fraternal spirit. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with the stewardship. What then is my recompense? That, when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as to not make full use of my rights in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. Do you not know that the runners in the stadium all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown, but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. No, I drive my body and train it. For fear that, after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. 
How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength, that you, whose strength you are. Their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. For a sun and a shield is the Lord God. Grace and glory he bestows. The Lord withholds no good thing from those who walk in sincerity. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite. Remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. When you want a candy, what do you do? You ask God? Okay, you can ask God. But if you want to go to your store and buy a candy, what do you need? You, have, you need money. Okay, good. So if you don't have money, you cannot buy a candy. All right? Okay, this, that's very basic. And if you have money, and if you are going to your ice cream store, what do you need? You have to go to the store. If without going to the store, you cannot have ice cream, and you cannot enjoy the ice cream. So you need money, and you need to make a move to go to the store. And after that, what you should do, once you get the ice cream, what do you do? You just look at it, oh, it's so, so good. You look at it for two hours, oh, it's so, so good. What do you do? You eat it, okay. If you don't eat at the right time, it's going to melt away. You know? It doesn't look like ice cream, it won't taste like ice cream. So first of all, you should have something, then you should do something, then you can enjoy what you have. So you need to do a lot of steps before you want to get something for your own. 
If you want to taste something, you should do a lot of things before you make it yours. This is the same way in the spiritual world too. And it's the same way in the circular world too. Same thing like if you want to be a baseball player, you should keep watching how they play and you get yourself into the team to be trained and then you get practice, practice and you know the techniques and you know how they play, all things. Then you get into the game and you learn by every game how you can make yourself to be better player. Spirituality is the same way. I have faith, what can I do? It's like I have money, I'm not going to the store to buy ice cream. Oh, I'm too tired to go to the store. Then you don't have ice cream, forget about it. Oh, I have faith, but I'm not going to do anything. I believe God, I don't, I don't do anything with, with that faith, but I have faith. No, you should do something. Okay, if I do something, if I go to the store, then I have to pay for the ice cream. Am I right? Just like that, if I have faith, then I do something that should give something out of what I do for others or for myself. The fruits of our faith is love and charity. The fruits of our faith, love and charity. That brings peace to ourselves and to the people whom he helped. If I have faith, oh, I pray hard, Father. Every day I pray, that's perfect. But after prayer, do you take anything out of your life, out of your faith and prayer? Do you take something out? It's like, I paid, Father, but I didn't get the ice cream. No, you should ask the ice cream. Otherwise, they don't know what you are asking for. So if you are praying, you should take the fruits of it. The fruits of prayer is also love and charity that makes you to be happy because you are able to share the love and be a helpful and very charitable person to other, other people. So Jesus tells about the same thing. If you don't have, how can you make to others? How can you help others? If I have that, then I can tell someone, hey, this is what you can do. So we cannot give what we don't have. Unless we are contained with something, unless we are overflowing something, we cannot give that to other people. So today we are going to pray and act on something how can I help my parents in my home? I have this ability. I can do some help to my mom today. I can help my dad with his help, with his work or something at home. I can do something. I have the potentiality. I'm healthy. I'm smart. And I have got good energy. How can I help my parents? So today we are going to think about it in that way we are not blocking someone, we are not being a barrier on someone's way, but we are remaining as a blessing those who are around us. Let us ask God to shower His grace upon us and our, upon our country. For the person we have heard with our predatory laws, we pray to the Lord. For reconciliation in families that have suffered separation and bitterness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering with poor health, that they not become bitter or resentful, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parish communities that experience animosity between factions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have recently died, especially Dr. Ben Odulio, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, let us pray to the Lord. Jessica Kilper is being especially remembered at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the innocent lives who gave their lives on September 11th, and for their families, for comfort and for consolation, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Loving Father, we beseech your mercy and graces through all our humble prayers. Teach us to be charitable and lead us to be grateful. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may you accept of God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands. The glory of His name, for our good and good of all of His holy church. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offer under sacramental signs that signify the peace and unity. Strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks, O Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Lord, through whom you made all things, whom you sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. Christ stretched out his hands as he, made, as he endured his passion, 
so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew pond, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. You proclaim your death, O Lord, and the trials of resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are less worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles Thompson, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in our mercy, 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Vincent de Paul, our patron, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co has eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy will be done, on, on earth as, as it is, it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins for the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with their will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that you should enter under my, under my roof. But only, only say, say the word, word my, soul my soul shall, shall be healed. healed.
Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Well, thank you all students for your great participation with the faith and piety. Thank you. Um, thank you all teachers and principal uh, for your great help too. too. Right after this mass, we will have this ser altar service training uh, for those who are from 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, you are you're most welcome to remain. If you are a Catholic, you are most welcome to remain in the church itself for the training session and we will have a training session and hopefully it will be done by 45 minutes. So, the Lord be with you. Good. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.